Hi everybody, back for another Thrift Store Finds, another half price day at the one bookstore, and some more bargain bins. We're chopping uh, the prices. Yes, we have a few Margot Weiss, Tracy Hickman, one hardcover Dragon Ships, never read that series that they did, and then some Dragon Lance. Dragon Lance, I like that some, cover. Some du the Douglas Niles ones. I like the covers, it's very pretty. Yes. Never find Dragon Lands anymore. Not anymore. Used to be all the time. Uh, Muppet Babies. Meet the Muppet Babies. One of these uh, Warcraft manga, the Sunwell Trilogy. I used to have these. I read those when those first came out. Uh, Amanda found the um, Maryland postcard book from 1989 made right nearby in Philadelphia. Why? It's a book of postcards and they're all in there. Pictures of Marilyn Monroe. Would you take so. those out? Because I would have taken them no, out. No, you collect the different celebrities, the postcard books. America's Goddess in 30 postcards. What's this? No. Uh, first edition of Return of the Jedi, paperback book. Some series of unfortunate events. American Girl. One of these Warriors ones. A uh, recent reprint of the original uh, Mac, uh, Brown, uh, Mark Brown's Arthur. Arthur's Nose. I prefer Arthur Topical that because the... Uh, series is finally ending, the PBS animated series. Oh no, I got something rare. Look at her face, oh my god. Like, no, Roberts. why can't she take any normal pictures? Why are you making fun of the lady's face? Can because you if you're gonna take that many pictures, take like, effects? take like nice pictures. I just, I don't know. These are a lot of Pango books. Mm -hmm. got Oprah's book club. And, Things like that. Look, we got Borders sticker right there. Yeah. Super, super vintage. Gate. So those gatekeepers? Gatekeepers. This is a series, I think. I don't know. But I got two of them, so that is exciting. Got some more Hooper Book Club books. This is exciting. The real Downton Abbey. Why is that exciting? <gasps> this giant, I think this is a collection, but it's not like I planned it this way. Life as well as falls apart. I don't know. That's beautiful. New romance. We got because no no trip is is complete without Janet. Yep. All the time. One day I'll say her name right. I thought this said Anne Pratchett, but it did not. So I don't know. What is this you picked up? That one I don't Catherine know. Catherine Graham. I don't know. Why'd you pick it's it up? It's a pango <laughs> book. It's a pango book. Okay, that looks like a pango book. Orange is the new black. We've sold this before on pangos. And then this. This just makes me so sad. I know you don't care, but Ransom Riggs apparently came back with number four because he couldn't cut it in the in the publishing world. So what, then he just came back stuff? to the same series. I don't know series. anything about that. I know you read them. It just makes me sad when authors like try to go out on their own after a bestseller, and then they're like, "No, I'm just gonna just gonna keep doing the same series until I die," and that just seems to be what they do. At least they're making a living writing. That's you gotta look the positive way. I might mean, not be writing what you want necessarily, but the positive way. So yeah. let us know what you've found lately. Have you found anything? It's been slim pickings where we're from. Yeah. Slim pickings. But yes, so you'll see me again if you're watching this as this comes out in a number of hours in like let's see it airs from the time we're filming this six hours from now, so probably about seven to seven and a half hours from now. I'll be back up on here after the Nintendo Direct is I have a very good feeling about this. I think they're gearing up to a really big year this year. I think the... whatever you said that last year. No, this year. No, last year was still... There were a lot of good things, but yeah, because there have been a lot of things that are pushed back because of COVID, but a lot of things are kind of getting back on track, and they have a lot slated for this year already that we know, and a lot of surprises. I also think that this is going to be the last... For me, I think this is going to be the last really big year for the Switch before eventually, because eventually they get to a point where they're going to still be supporting the Switch, but there's going to be a, whatever, Switch 2 or whatever, which is the main thing. And they're not going to, the Switch is so popular, they're not like you're going to leave it behind, and whatever the Switch 2 thing is probably going to be backwards compatible anyway. Be. But I think there is going to be, I think this is going to be the last big blowout year blowout. for the original, like, for the Switch itself. And I then, don't know. Because so. I think within this year, we're probably going to get new Fire Emblem, new Xenoblade, Breath of the Wild 2, Splatoon 3, that you know, Kirby games coming out very, very soon. I think it's going to be a lot of big hitters in a row throughout the course of the year. And, I think and we got a jibble. So. We got the jibbles. 
The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. Even watching our videos, we get all the uh, Shell Factory steelbooks of the Studio Ghibli movies. Jibbles. The next two were announced. The next steelbooks come out in April. And after that, I think there's only like four left. So there's a chance they could do the whole, Complete yeah, the whole thing. So that would be fantastic. Anyway, we'll see you hopefully in a few hours. <gasps>